for this pray for Brother Mark and, and, and that whole family. So we'll God to touch that family. Amen. Amen. They're trying to get their own place and move out and do all these great things. And we want God to be with them.
can't do it. Your reality is so sad that, 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 that maybe you can't do it for you. But I, I dare you to release the Lord this morning. Don't let the enemy make you care so much that you begin to doubt the Lord. The situation can't be better. The situation will get better. It just takes your mind to release the Lord. Hallelujah. God, I'll stay in the place that I'm in as long as you want me to stay. But be it known that I am waiting for you to move me, Lord. I'm waiting for you to elevate me, Lord, because you said you would. If I put you to the test and I spoke out of faith, you said that you would move me, Lord. Come on, I need somebody to believe that this morning. To believe that the Lord will move you. To believe that the Lord will elevate you this morning. Come on, somebody. Don't let that spirit go. Don't let that hope go. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Your dreams are not dead. Your dreams are not dead this morning. They can still come alive. Thank you. 
there's something that happens in your presence, God. There's something that takes place in your presence, oh God. My attitude becomes changed in your presence, oh God. Lord God, my heart becomes changed in your presence, God. My mind changes about things in your presence, oh God. Lord God, I can release, God. I can forgive those who have offended me, oh God. I can release in the name of Jesus, oh God, to be free. God, the bitterness that I have inside of me can be let go of, oh God. Lord God, the problems that I have in my life, oh God, can be free to be released, God. Forgive us this morning, oh God, as we're forgiving our debtors this morning, oh God. Hallelujah. Somebody needs to let go of that bitterness that you're holding on to. Somebody needs to let go of the problems that you've been going through and allow God to work in your life. Allow God to move that out of the way. You think that just because you let it go that they got all scot-free and that's not the case. But it's not your fight to have. It's the Lord's fight to deal with. But you got to make sure that you're in a place that God can work on you and elevate you. Hallelujah, Jesus. I still feel the spirit of the Lord here. I'm sorry, God. I don't want to. I just want to tear with the Lord for a second. Because He's so great, He's so good. I don't want to rush the Lord here this morning. But I don't want to take up your time. But the Spirit of God is, I just want somebody to have access to this this morning. In the name of Jesus. Have your way, Jesus. I want somebody right now, oh God. You're free, understand? You're free. Trust him with your life. Because 
Every day is not an opportunity, but today is an opportunity. If you will come with your whole heart, yet to go sign, yeah, withholding nothing, he died to Messiah, and even hiding nothing, he sold on the floor. If you need such a night, able to supply every need, he goes high, able to heal every sin, sickness, and disease, he died. But I'm the Lord, he died, 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 I'm the
dinner after service today. Uh, so be ready to eat, be ready to enjoy fellowship. We have a watch night here at 9 on December the 31st. So let's give us a security on what to bring. Uh, we want to bring in the new year. Praise of God. Amen. We never know what it's going to be the last year. December 14th at 9 30. Grace to Lone Star or Gerberts to the Lone Star Center in Montgomery, Texas. Sorry. Lone Star Center Montgomery, Texas. To help hand out Christmas toys. So anybody else that would like to go, it's going to be December 14th at 9 30 to hand out toys, remembering what the season really is about. Amen. Amen. Giving instead of receiving. Let's stand through one of the welcome of pastor. Spirit of the Lord is still in this place as God is still moving. This is the time that we want the Lord to do. So let's welcome him. We don't get anything left. We don't get anything else. We just want to hand it to Mike and let him go. Amen. Amen. What a feeling of thanksgiving to the Lord that's in this place. This is the season we mentioned the other night given to thanksgiving. And it seems to be a season that the majority of the world just skips over. This Thursday is a day that's been set aside for Thanksgiving. But we have to stop and evaluate our actions, where we are in life, and determine what this season is really all about. Not submit to us today, that it is about giving our heart to the Lord, all of our being to God. People, a lot of times, can't wait for New Year's Eve to give their New Year's resolutions. But I wonder that this week, as Thursday approach, if we can look back over our lives and examine ourselves, and if we can See if we fall short on giving him thanks. The song said, when I think of the goodness of Jesus, this is the time to do it. This week, this morning, the rest of the year, and next year, and the rest of our lives, giving him thanks. God's been good to us. We could have been dead and gone this year but he's bought us another year. I wonder if we could just give the Lord a hand clap of praise. He deserves it. The world has no way to make this kind of event. But we want to give that to the Lord this morning. Praise God. He's worthy to be praised. We don't want to be before you long this morning, but if you have your Bibles, we want to turn our attention to the book of First Chronicles. We talked about that on Wednesday night in Bible study. What a great feeling of the Holy Ghost that we've felt this morning. Praise God. Did anybody feel the Lord this morning? Amen. Amen. Is he, you feel like that he's God in your life or not? In First Chronicles chapter number 16, verses number 23, it's the tale of a young man that has a desire to walk with the Lord, to live for him, to sing about him, to give him thanks, to magnify him, a God that means everything to him. Anybody feel that way here today? Amen. Praise God. Yes. Glory to God. If you want change in your life, if we can grab on to the way that David felt about the Lord through our trials, through our errors, through our downs, God will help us. Amen. Verse 23 says, Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Show forth from day to day his salvation. In other words, every day I want to give him praise for saving me. Are y'all hearing me here today? For God's sake, I was lost. And now I am found. I didn't find him, but he found me. And I thank him every day for that. So it says, 
Um, Declare his glory among the heathen, his marvelous works among all the nations. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He also is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the people are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Glory and honor are in his presence. Strength and gladness are in his place. Yes. Give unto the Lord, ye kindred of the people. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come before him. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Praise God. Let's just clap our hands to the Lord before we see you. Come on, we can do better than that. Come on, it's so good to have Praise God. You can be seated for a moment. I want to go to the book of Psalms. I want to read just a few scriptures out of Psalms. And in the next few minutes, I promise you, we're going to be through. In Psalms uh, chapter number 66. Psalm 66. Verse number one, it says to make a joyful noise unto God, all ye lands. What he's saying is right here in this church, everybody ought to give God some praise. Everybody ought to be praying. I'm just going to get happy right now. Everybody ought to be praying. I'm going to put my palm on the side, and I'm just going to give God some glory and praise in this place. But God can do what God wants to do for us if we'll reach out and grab what the Lord has for us. Come on, here. Come on, let's believe in our privilege. When God is trying to bless us, and God can do great things in our life, and God can do us out of the money, brothers. Praise God, but we've got to use the praise and the worship in this place. He said to make a joyful noise. Everybody, praise God. Amen. Somebody didn't do it here in this place. So let's try that again. Make a joyful noise, everybody. Amen. Be worthy to be praised. Sing forth the honor of his name. Make his praise glorious. That means you gotta really go with it. Amen. That means you try to outdo the world in the way they worship their gods. That means that we lift up our voice to the Lord. That means we're not embarrassed about the Lord. But we just give the God the glory and the praise. We want to have a party for the Lord. Amen. We want to have a party to anticipate having a good time. When we come to church, we ought to anticipate having a good time. This is a time of season that we want to anticipate having a great time for God. Glory to God. I don't want to wait to Thursday. I don't want to wait for a turkey. I don't want to wait for dressing. I don't want to wait for cranberry sauce. But he's worthy to be praised. Praise God. The food is great, but if I can just have a wondrous relationship with God. Yes. You want to feel good, give God some worship and praise. Yes. You can feel good, you can praise yourself happy. Yes, hallelujah. You hear me? I said you can praise yourself happy. Amen. You can praise yourself, amen, to, to feeling good. You can praise yourself into the spirit of joy. That's right. Amen. You can praise him. Praise God. So David is excited. Here in Psalms number 66. There's a time when he's been down. There's a time when he gets up. But can I tell you this? Your joy is in your hands. Right. It's not in your neighbor's hand. It's not in your enemy's hand. It's in your hand. Yeah. Amen. I heard Brother Darren talking about his car. Amen. The problems that he was having with his car. Amen. We've got two choices. Either we can go down or we can go up. We can feel bad all day and feel down in the, in the, in the, uh, all day long, or we can choose, you know what, I'm going to be happy. I tell the story all the time, and I won't go into it this morning, about when my BMW got stolen. Praise God. And I could have been down, but you know, I decided if, if anything else, God would give me another car. Right. Amen. Praise God. And I already had on my mind, Sister Shirley, it wasn't Christmas time, but I already had on my mind what kind of car I wanted if God didn't give me that one back. Praise God. But you know what? 
He kept that one. And he gave me that one. And I was happy to get that one. Now, what I'm saying is, uh, it could have turned into a bad day for me. Amen. But I chose to give God the glory and the praise anyhow. I didn't have it before I got it. Amen. But God allowed me to get it back. But in all of that, he still was worthy to be praised. I couldn't decide I wasn't coming to church if I had to catch a ride to church. I still had to be in church. Amen. And God was still God despite my circumstances. Despite what was going on, he still deserved the glory and the praise. Amen. Sing unto the Lord. Amen. Sing unto God's glory. Sing unto the praises of the Lord. I love the, the, the musician. Amen. He could just sing. He could play. Amen. He could, all by himself. He could encourage himself in the Lord. I believe that when David was encouraging himself, he wasn't just, amen, he wasn't just saying, oh God, I want you to touch me. Oh God, I want you to heal me. Oh God, I want you to bring me up. And oh, oh God, God, God. But I believe that David at times decided, you know what, I'm just going to play a little while. Yeah. I think I'll just sing a little while. Amen. I think I'll just, amen, I, I just feel like just writing the song. Amen. And my, and my fingers won't stop. Amen. I'm just writing it to the Lord. Why? Because God has been good to me. Praise God. Amen. So he says, he says, sing forth the honor of his name. Make the praise glorious. In other words, it ain't no sad song. Amen. I remember you know, when we talked about when, when the children of Israel went to Babylon. Amen. God could have brought them out a whole lot sooner than when they went in. But they refused to give God some glory and praise. Amen. While the enemy was working in their life. But what they didn't realize is that God had ordained it so they would come back to him and wouldn't die lost. Right. Praise God. And, and the world was asking them to sing a church song. Amen. They were in a time that they never on their own would have went out. Amen. To be able to witness to those that were lost. And God granted them the opportunity through their imprisonment to, to give him some glory in front of the heathen. People that they never would have reached. People that they never would have fellowship with. People that they never would have went out and tried to win. God gave them the opportunity to give him glory in that circumstance. Praise God. What kind of circumstance are you in this morning? What kind of circumstance were you in yesterday that you couldn't give God some glory? That wasn't a great time to lift up the name of Jesus and praise his mighty name. Amen. 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 So David is giving God some glory and praise. Look what he says here. He says, say unto God, how terrible art thou in thy works. Through the greatness of thy power shall thine enemies submit themselves unto thee. Amen. It's time to get over your circumstance. Yes, amen. It's time to thank God for this opportunity to give him praise. Amen. Can I thank you? Thank you. If you've been in the door for one week, it's been too long. Amen. You're one week too long in your problems. You're one week too long in not giving God glory and praise. You're one week too long in not giving God glory and praise. And have faith that God can bring you through. It's time to give him a hand clap. It's time to give him a little praise. And if somebody says, I don't know, it's a shout. Praise God. You ought to tell your problem today is the last day. Praise God. Did y'all hear me? You ought to speak to your storm and tell your storm you can't win. Praise God. The enemy will always try to bring you storm, but you ain't got to carry those things. You can leave that stuff at the house. I got too many other things in my car to bring. Amen. Stay home, storm. Amen. I don't have room for you. I got to put somebody in my car to take to the church. Amen. Oh, glory to God. You got to tell your problems. You got to stay here today. When I come back, you need to have your bags packed and be gone. Amen. I don't have place for you in my car. Amen. The only room I have is for glory. Amen. I got the only room I have is for praise. Amen. In my vehicle today, is that I'm taking the church to give to the Lord. Praise yeah. God. You ought to pack your bags with praise. You ought to pack your bag with ex exhortation. You ought to pack your, your bag, amen, with just a little bit of glory and praise and honor, amen, to give to God. Yeah. You ought to pack your, your bag with joy. Yeah. And tell the Lord, I'm bringing my joy with me. Yeah. Amen, I'm bringing my praise with me. Yeah. I'm bringing my shout with me. Yeah. Amen, I'm bringing my, I'm bringing my yeah. Praise God. Amen. 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 Don't walk into the presence of the Lord full of heaviness. Amen. He said to come into his what? Presence 
would see. Huh. He'll take it. If he knows what that other stuff is. Amen. You said, when he says to cast your cares on him, it ought to be before you get to the altar. Yes, yes. Amen. It ought to be when you come in, amen, I've got joy. I've already got the victory going. When you remember the blind man. You remember blind Bartimaeus. Bartimaeus started shedding that old dead mentality, that old blind mentality before he ever got to the Lord. When God called him, amen, Bartimaeus was already giving God glory. He was already praising him. He was already calling on that magnificent name, amen, that'll give you a change in your life. Amen, that name that'll do wonders for you. That name that'll give you the joy that you're looking for. He was already calling on that name. He didn't know the power, not really, even of that name, but he would find out even that that name had power over blindness. Even somebody else understood him. Even that that name had power over an issue of blood. Others found out that that name had power over death. What is the man trying to get that power a word for the great God? Whatever it is, he has power. Amen. I heard the song writer said there's, there's power in the name of Jesus. There's healing in the name of Jesus. There's salvation in the name of Jesus. No other name under heaven given among men but God. We must be saved. We ought to thank God for that this morning. Praise God. He has become our strength and our song. He has become our salvation. Amen. If this is the week that I want to tell God, I thank you so much for what you've done in my life. I thank you so much for bringing me out. I thank you so much for just being God in my life. It's a week of Thanksgiving. Praise God. Not that I don't want to do it the rest of the year. We will. But I just want to take a little time aside and make it a little bit more special to Him this week. Praise God. We're not waiting just to celebrate on, on Thursday. We want to celebrate this morning. Amen. Amen. How terrible are thy works. Through the greatness of thy power shall thine enemies submit themselves to you. In other words, your problems don't have a choice. Amen. Your issues don't have a choice. Thank you. Have a choice. Right. Amen. Uh, the, 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 the valley that you're in has got to let you go Amen. if you're willing to come out of it. There were some that came out of Egypt just, just because of, even they didn't look good, even because they were praising him for their deliverance, even they were looking back and going back into the prison that they came out of. Amen. Sometimes we expect even the call of our problem to be greater than the deliverance of our God. But can I tell you this? That when you're praising him, Miriam was saying, no, I ain't going to wait back into the other side and see. And I'm looking at what God has done, and I'm ready to praise him right now. Praise God. I got to hear him. I don't blame him. It has happened to God. If you were waiting for that circumstance, and you've been through that, that trial all of our life, if you've been in that situation, and there's a God that's bringing you out by his mighty hand, you would want to praise him too. Amen. Praise God. At least you ought to want to praise him. Praise God. She got a tambourine and instrument of praise. Right. Amen. It was better than they that went to uh, that, that went to Babylon. Amen. They got there and the Babylonians was asking them to sing them a church song. Yes. Amen. They went bought one of these the, one of these songs out in the world. Amen. That's glorifying the flesh and glorifying the enemy and glorifying anything that's not like God. What they wanted to hear, amen, was a song of praise that they gave to their God. Right. Praise God. Right. Even though that, that, that they were in bondage, even though they had just overtaken the Hebrew, but yet the world wanted to hear a church song. Amen. Don't be, don't, don't let the enemy lie to you and make you believe, amen, that the world really don't want church. They want church. Oh, they're having a good time in the world. But there's something about the Lord and that God has found in every human being and that they want him despite what they're going through. The God put that there. Amen. He left that little spot there for them to come to him. Otherwise, nobody would be saved. But God put that one little spot that is saying, one day you'll give me some glory. One day you're going to give me some praise. If it's not on this earth, you'll look up in hell and, and talk about the greatness of the Lord. I would doubt, amen, that some, would, they may not quote this verse all together that we just quoted, amen, but they're going to quote and make the same point that David is making. Let me read that again. I'm just so thankful that he called me out. He says, how terrible art thou in thy works. Through the greatness of thy power 
shall thy enemies submit themselves unto thee. Praise God. Through the greatness. You know, you know we talk about uh, and then some passes power dynamite yes. and explosive. Yes. In other words, how, what, what, what David is saying is this. God will walk into the center of life and blow everything up. Amen. And you don't have a choice. Amen. How many people just sit there and look at a bomb and say, oh, you know, give me a cold. Yeah. When they say, mom, I was talking to my sister yesterday and she had taken two of my nieces to the mall. They're in Dallas. And they called her and asked her to come back and pick them up. And when she got there, there was police cars all over the place. Somebody thought they heard gunfire. And that entire mall emptied. Cars everywhere. She said, I couldn't even hardly get in. I told them to meet me somewhere else. And they would run across the parking lot. People were running everywhere. They ran down the escalator. The one coming up, they ran down it. Trying to get out of that place. What I'm saying is, if you can imagine the chaos on that mall parking lot, cars everywhere, you can't even get out there, going that hard, and with every exit just stuck, and people just sitting still. But in their mind, it's rushing, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta get away. And with that danger here, that's what the scripture is saying here, that God would do to the enemy. He just dropped a bomb, then devil just got scattered everywhere. Because one, see, look, one man in God is still the majority. Amen. God is not intimidated by the enemy. Why are we intimidated? Amen. Praise God. If the Lord is on my side, who shall I fear? What the scripture says. Amen. So what I'm saying is, when trouble comes, we know that, like the song says, trouble don't last always. Praise God. That if you endure, amen, uh, hardness, Praise God. God is going to bring you through. You'll be better than what you were before. Let me finish this here real quick. And we're going to go and we're going to eat. But we want to give God some praise. I just want us to stop and think about who he is. Yeah. And what God has been trying to do in our life. If you will let go of the negativity and allow the Lord to do some great things in our life. And put all of our little things in the cause we don't have to face the power. And God's going to draw us out of it. Yes. Amen. He's saying, look, look, whatever your problem is, I'll blow it up. I will annihilate it. Your problem will not intimidate me. It's got you intimidated. But if you want out, just give me some glory. Just give me some praise. Amen. The reason that God don't bring us out a whole lot of times, number one, I know that we, we, we need to learn some things. But and we need to learn to get your heart as, as a good soldier. We need to do that. Amen. But the other thing is we need to learn to have patience in our situation and to believe God and relax in the Lord despite what we're going through. Praise God. God is a good time. And we got to learn to worship him rather than falling apart and becoming scatterbrained. Yes. Yes. Praise God. we got to learn just to relax and say, God is great and greater to be praised, is what the scripture said. It says, All the earth shall worship thee and shall think sing unto thee. They shall sing to thy name. Praise God. Yes. Come and see the works of God. Amen. I'm saying today, come out of your cave and see what God will do in your life. Come on. Come out of your, your problems have overshadowed you. Enemies are all around you. And God has said, come out of their presence and see what I'm going to do. Amen. Job had folks around him. Amen. They were supposed to be his friends, but nobody was trying to understand Job. They just wanted Job to understand them. In your circumstance, sometimes people don't understand empathy. And they, don't, they, they don't understand having some compassion. And then yeah. men may have thought that that's what they were doing. And then you had a young whippersnapper that just decided, well, you know, I done heard everything all y'all had to say, and I'm young. And I can't believe that y'all not a better example for me. Praise God. <laughs> you know what? God looked past him too. When Job decided, you know what? I think I'm just going to live for God. Right. Despite what people are saying, you must have seen Job. I thought you was filled with the Holy Ghost, baptized in Jesus' name. That's not what they said. I'm talking about the day's vernacular. Praise God. I thought you lived for God. Somewhere down the road, you must have halfway back said. Somewhere down the road, God must have been mad at you. You're broke now. Your bank account is gone. It was your kids are gone. What's wrong with you, man? That's right. Come on. Praise God. See, I knew one day. I knew one day. I knew one day. What day did you know? Job, Job knew 
See, when you're holy, when you're full of the Holy Ghost, when you're full of the Spirit of God, and your patience is tried, and temptation is almost overtaking you, when it looks like you, you're on your last, and, and, and you ought to just walk out the church, pray that some people walk out, but there's something on the inside that just you know, that causes you to look one more time and say, I just can't leave him. God's been too good to me. If he never blessed me another day in my life in the way that I see blessings, yeah. he's still good. Can I tell you something? If you're able to think that you're still blessed, Amen. the Bible talks about being clothed in what in your right, right. right mind. Amen. It means it says to gird up the loins of your mind. In other words, shake yourself up and get yourself together in the midst of your circumstances and determine that I didn't have nothing when I got here and I won't have nothing when I leave. But blessed to be the name of the Lord. Thank you for the good time I used to have. Thank you for the kids I didn't have. Thank you for my own best account. I know for the one time you're able to do it again. I'm going to hold on and see the end of my life. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I'm just about done here, but I just had to show you what David, amen, was seeing, what he was doing. I know the man went through some things. I know he caused some problems, like they said in Sunday school this morning, and I thought they just don't know what we're preaching, amen, today. We said this group to run along with everything. We cause problems in our life, but despite that, God still wanted worship and glory. Is living like a junkyard dog. And when Jeremiah, the man of God, tried to tell them, they got mad about that. And said, look, he's against us. I thought he was one of us. He, you know, he's not real. He brings a traitor. Praise God. He said, you can say whatever you want to say, but I'm telling you what God said. And God allowed the enemy to come in. He just, he just refused to help them. And whenever he refuses, then the enemy will overtake you. See, don't put your confidence in flesh. The enemy can't overtake you without the power of the Holy Ghost operating in your life. Don't let nobody tell you. You can just tell the devil, just say no to the devil. No. Amen. He just wants you to do that. Come on. Come on. He wants you to do that. See, if Job had had a mind lift for God, he would go just say, no. I'm not going to do that. I'm no, he would have left just like his wife is going to leave. But thank God for a couple that together they made it. He says, come and see the works of God. That's what I come to church for. Amen. That's what I get up in the morning for. To see God's work. He is terrible in his doing toward the children of men. Praise God. Talking about the Lord. Let me read all the way through verse 10. And we're going to move on. It says, he turned the sea into dry land. They went through the flood on foot. There did we rejoice in him. What has God done for you that you're not praising him for today? What has God done for you that you forgot to give him glory for? What has God done for you that, that you already gave him praise for that two years ago? Praise God. But you still have the memory of what he's done. You're still delivered from what, he, from, from, from what you were bound by. Amen. You're still blessed by what he gave you. Am I right about it? If you're still blessed, you ought to still think back every so often and give him some glory. That's what the song says. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me, amen, I can shout, shout all night. In other words, I just get excited all over again about what God did. I remember how I couldn't deliver myself. I remember how I couldn't bring myself out. I remember how, amen, I was overtaken with sadness. Amen, but God did a great thing for me, and I was able to testify about it. He gave me a testimony that's still mine. I get so tired of it about that testimony. When you get tired of hearing about it, because it wasn't yours, amen. Amen, you weren't delivered, praise God. We sing that song, if you'd have been there when I prayed through, you'd have got happy and shouted to that old 70s song. But it's still applicable for today. Praise God. Because you weren't there when I prayed through. If you was there when I prayed through, then you'd still be excited, just like I am, about living for the Lord. Down and out? Yeah, I've been down and out before. Sad? I've been sad before. But I want to tell you, there was always a rebound. There was always another hill, another mountain that God put me on. Yet I slipped and I fell and I rolled down the hill. But there was always another mountain behind. There was always another. And the hill was behind. Because I knew that God was 
Whether there are times we disagree with you or not, you're still God. You hold the world in the palm of your hand. And we give you glory and honor and praise you throughout the year, throughout the rest of our life. We ask God also that you would bless the hands and prepare the food and the food that we're about to eat for the nourishment of our family. Thank you so much for the celebration.